all right now i'm going to show you how you can install r packages and uh, how you can load it in your jupyter notebook so the previously we had seen the big idea behind the ggplot2 now i'm going to show you the first where the library of this r package is you can simply type there dot lib all right as soon as you type this dot lib press the tab in your keyboard it's going to bring this dot lib path uh, there should not be any back code actually so this auto completion is not doing correct at the at least at this place then put here these two round bracket and run this cell so once you run this cell it will show you a two path the one path is actually a default path which is stored in anaconda 3 environment that's mean in the r base there is the another one which is inside this document r and windows library 4.0 depending on the operating system which operating system you are you you are using there you might see here a different path for your operating system all right Perfect. So by default, it uses this one for the base packages. And if you install uh, user libraries, then it uses these packages. All right. Don't worry about that in selecting any of these. So I'm going to select this one instead of this Anaconda 3 package. So just select this whole thing. And then I'm going to put here like lib path. All right. So this lib path equal to so this sign is actually equal to in r programming there i'm going to put it like this uh, sorry there is already we had copied there so we are going to put it like this just run it so this lib path is now stored and if you put this lib path there there you will notice so this one is a variable which we have just created and before that, let me also hide this one so that we can get some space here. All right. So we are going to get here enough space there. Some of the important packages which we are going to use inside this lecture series. The first one is ggplot2. So you can type there install. As soon as you type there install, press a tab in your keyboard. You will notice that they, these are suggestions suggested for you. Then I'm going to select here these packages. Thereafter, I say there ggplot2. All right. Then I select here this lib is equal to lib path. So it says that I want to install this ggplot2 inside this library. All right. That's the lib path. Just run it. It's going to install this ggplot2 inside your R base. All right. And it also this ggplot needs these packages as well. So these are actually dependencies for these packages. So these are also installed along with this ggplot2. This one is only for a ggplot2. I need few more packages. So I had just copied and pasted it here. I will be also needing here a Lubri date. If you remember previously we had also used this Lubri date when we were coding in the R studio. And we want it again. Thereafter, we also want here a GG galley. All right. So there is G galley actually. So this G galley we will be using for a ridge plot. Uh, sorry, this is scatter and the matrix plot. And uh, then Lubri date we will be using for a date time. And this one we will be using for a plotting the natural plots in your R code. All right, just run it. It's going to install all these uh, necessary packages in your computer. Thereafter, thereafter, we are ready to load these packages in your uh, Jupyter notebook. All right, so just run it. Uh, instead of doing there, I'm going to just uh, reload. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to load these packages inside this notebook. Do remember when you when you run install dot packages, it's going to just install these packages in your computer. This is not going to load in the notebook for loading these packages in the session. We need to load it with the method of library. So there we have a library to auto complete. I'm going to tell you once again here to get the auto complete. Press tab. 
all right so you need to press tab button you need to write a few character of the syntax thereafter press a tab button in your keyboard then you will be getting here a list of suggestions there you have a library and in this library we are going to load here this ggplot so just type the name ggplot2 and run it so it's going to load this one all right thereafter another one also i have here a ggplot uh, sorry library lubridate all right so it's going to load this lubridate as well and this one is saying that ggplot is in use so it's not going to install and of course we need to actually bring it into into here new cell all right thereafter this lubridate we need to put here the library which is ggalley all right so this one let's go ahead and run it so we have loaded here all these three necessary r packages in our notebook now we are ready to start coding for our data visualization in r programming all right i'll see you next lesson